Hi, this is Matthew with RetroEdge.Tech and uh, just taking a look, I'm working on a ThinkPad X1 laptop and I've got Windows installed on a Samsung SSD, the 1TB 970 Pro and um, I used Clonezilla to make an image of it and so it's the UEFI uh, partitions which in the Windows um, Drive Manager, Storage Manager, you can't uh, extend the partition or make it larger. So you can see I've got this whole bunch of free space at the end of the drive there. And so in, within Windows you can't delete partitions and with uh, non-UFI uh, partitions uh, you can expand them. And I use the legacy boot mode um, for most of my clone sale images, but I'm trying uh, with the UEFI here. So. I'm going to give this a shot. Um, this is in the Discs Utility, and then I've also got um, Gparted open here. And so, just a few things. Uh, so, this one here is a small partition at the end. I'm going to attempt to delete that one. So, I'm going to delete that. We'll apply those changes. And that was completed successfully. Then we're going to try to um, resize or move this one. And so this is the part where we would do it, would be able to do it in the legacy partitions within the Windows uh, Drive Manager. Um, but uh, it does not work on the UFI partition, so we'll see if this works. So I'll just drag that all the way to the end. Click on Resize, Move and then apply and we'll see if this works all operations completed successfully so all right let's restart and see what happens hey there's me there's my reflection <laughs> all right i'm going to remove the installation media Press enter, it's going to restart. On the Novo screen. Hopefully, let's see if it boots into Windows. There we go, we get our Windows little circle dot status bar things. Windows welcome screen and there we have the full partition so to get to the um, let's see Windows X and then it's called disk management within Windows 10 um, and you can see that there we go it, it has taken up the full amount of the disk so what was not able to be done in disk management within Windows I was able to do in Gparted on a live boot of Linux Mint success. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.